Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Get Famous. Yep, that's all I've got to say, we'll get straight into this. I thought Camilla could come out with Brody to the Spice Festival and uh, chill and just spend some time together. I uh, actually do Love Day, which I thought would be quite cool because, you know, we don't focus enough time on Camilla because Camilla's not our actress. She's just our fashion stylist and YouTuber with a kid. So there really is no excuse for us not to spend a little quality time one-on-one -on -one with our favorite girl. All right, so we're just gonna order some food and then I'm just gonna chat to Brody. Oh, think that was a bit hot for us, but that's that's what happens when you try new foods. Let's just chill out with Brody. Uh, first things first, uh, try for baby and bush. Uh, they already technically have a kid together. She's really not coping with that fire. I want to ask him out on a date. Ask on a date. And we have arrived at, I'm hoping, the same location. Yeah, no, this was not the same location. Hmm, so it turns out I had no idea where the Spice Festival was being held. Ooh, but someone's done some pretty cool artwork. Why can't we buy their artwork? Oh, ah, uh, what should we do? Well, we might as well sit together. I don't know what any of this is. What did I just do? Um, just really quickly do this and then Spice Fest was going to end soon anyway and I made her pay for food instead of, you know, going and eating at the Spice Festival. Oh, I clicked sing together, did I? How did I not notice that? No, forget that. Just forget it. Sit and talk together. Wait, what? Why can't you do anything with him? We're going to sit here and speed through some deep socialisation with our main man Brody. Or our only man at the moment because Camilla's really cleaning herself up. Not just for the kid. Wait, I can tend that table? That cannot be true. I am so confused by this whole tending someone else's art table. Is singing together new? When did that come about? Anyway, moving on because it doesn't really matter. Flirt with your date while flirty. Where did Brody go? Brody, we're exhausted too. Why did you leave? Flashbacks to Alexa, right? Actually, we shouldn't be talking about her right now. This is about Camilla. I'm just going to get a, um, a silver and then I want to get back to doing Love Day because Love Day is ending in an hour. Oh no, become best friends. Oh, that'd be cute because Camilla doesn't have a best friend. Yes, we are definitely ending it early. So all I have to do now is in 20 minutes buy some flowers and give it to him. I don't know where to find flowers. Do these count? I wish I knew how to do this. Oh, give a Love Day gift. Yeah, have a daisy. I mean, we've technically already got gold, so we don't need everything. Love Day was awful for Alexa. Yeah, it was about time something was good for Camilla. Oh, and she still managed to give him the flower, which I think is pretty adorable. Well, I think this was successful, so we will map it up and head home without Brody. Camilla finally got to do something Alexa didn't get to do. She got to complete Love Day. And it's like we never even left because Alexa's right here. No, we still don't have enough money to flaunt our wealth. We should be able to throw around a hundred, even if that's all we have. So I think I'm just going to flash through tonight. She's a vampire. She's pretty much just going to be working out and showering as much as possible. That's, that's the whole plan here. And I will see you guys in the morning where we might focus a little bit more on Camilla because she does have the day off today. We might make a video. We, I am thinking we should age up little... Avery, which I think would be quite cool. So I will see you guys then. Book celebrity cleans. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to book a celebrity cleans. That sounds awesome. All right, now let's have a look at how Camilla's doing. The videos are doing well, but she does only have three, which is a bit of a shame. All right, take a shower, deal with your baby, and then take a bubble bath to try and get your fun up, even though your fun is impossible to get up. And I guess eat some cereal if you've got time to eat the cereal before it's spoiled. How can your bed be so bad? How can you be so fancy? So she, Alexa is off at a nice, I don't know, celebrity spa, I think. We're just spending some good old time with Camilla. Spoiled in eight minutes. Okay, okay, here's the thing. We should not be eating this. It is gonna make us sick. Oh my God, what's wrong with my child? What's wrong with you? We could age up the new baby, but I think we'll just, we shall wait. 
Yep, there we go. Oh, she's going to wash her plate despite the crying baby in the other room. No, 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 cool, cool, cool. That's exactly what you should be doing. Her YouTube videos are doing really well. YouTubing seems a little bit broken, kind of like arts. Being a painter is broken. What is your problem, baby? Rock him, shush him, just breastfeed him, cuddle him, and then we'll come back and we will record a cheerful vlog. Alexa has returned from her celebrity cleanse. All of the perks she enjoyed thanks to her life of fame have been wiped clean. She's flee to select a new path of benefit. What? All right, well, I'm going to click the same thing, but I'm so confused. Oh, so that's what you do when you get a negative reputation. Does that mean we're... No, we're still there. I guess I just paid $275 for literally nothing. Do you want to not have a blood bath standing in the... Standing there in the sun? All right, so we just got back from what was definitely a big bunch of wasted money. But that's good to know that you can book a nice celebrity cleanse if you want to restart your celeb cycle. Update social media status. Oh, for crying out loud, this baby is driving me up the wall. I've really got to age this thing up. Not right now though. Yeah, her vampiric energy is low. You can go to sleep, but then I want you to research vampires when you wake up. Record a cheerful vlog. So, here we are now focusing on a little bit of our YouTubing career. Oh, and we should definitely issue the positivity challenge, and I thought it would give us some more time to focus on her if we did this. Alexa's audition starts in an hour. Oh, crikey. Um, she is not at the fitness she needs to be at. Oh, new. No. It's $1,755. It's so good. You, Camilla, can actually invite over our coordinator and start the positivity challenge because why not? We've got nine days. It's plenty of days. Marlene Vest, I heard there's a talent showcase going down at the lounge. Let's go embarrass ourselves. I can't, Marlene. Got work in a smidge of time. Oh my god, it's already 7 p.m. Where'd the day go? Quickly work out for the next 20 minutes in the hopes it can actually do something for us. Quickly work out. All right, head off to, head off to your audition. And how is your video going, Camilla? And we have to reach level three of writing for you as well. Discuss outfits or fashion is only 30 percent done. Now I've got to assume trending has changed. I forgot what was trending. I guess birthday preparation video. Why does preparation look like it's spelled way wrong? I don't know. My son Avery is aging up tomorrow. I am so proud of my little son. We should probably invite Brody over, although unfortunately because we don't live with Brody, Brody doesn't act like the father, which is a little bit disappointing. Get leftovers after this and then we'll chat. We'll issue the positivity challenge. We'll edit our video. We'll upload our video. It's all coming together perfectly. It really is. Oh, here she is. She's just appeared. Come to my door, young woman. I'm surprised people don't talk about the rumours of Vlad visiting our house late at night. I'm actually surprised people don't talk about the time we munched down a vampire. Well, not that this was her. Issue the positivity challenge. Yeah, we've got priorities here, Camilla, and those priorities are to issue a positivity challenge. And she still turned it on, despite me asking her not to. And look at her, not listening to what I say. Yep, sit there and eat your hamburger, because that's exactly what I said to do. Ah, oh, finally. She's walking away, could you just- Oh my god, what? What? Did she leave? No, could you please issue- She's leaving, isn't she? Yep, alright. Call her back over again. She struggles so much to just meet people. Could you come here? She's probably off letting someone else issue the positivity challenge. I'll be right over. Why, thank you. Could you not leave this time? Issue positivity challenge. Hmm, Millie Bobby Brown is a teen. I never noticed that. Let's get into this. Congratulations, Camilla has unlocked the hidden positivity challenge aspiration. Here it is. Let's start this. Perform one good deed. Click on Sims to perform acts of kindness such as Brighton Day Social or click on objects. All right. Hello, this positivity challenge has been issued to you, Camilla. When you are ready, choose the positivity challenge aspiration, complete the, complete the objectives and receive your positivity poster prizes. Audition pass. Alexa, you continue to surprise. The casting director called back and you got the part. Are you sure you don't have a great uncle in the casting office pulling strings for you? Way to make me feel loved. Here is your stack of presents. Let's put them out, because you know, they look cool. All right, she's gone off to bed, which I'm very happy about. And you actually need to go to bed as well. So I will return in the morning. Oh, everything just happened at the same time. And it's new skill day, and it's summer. Oh, I love summer, summer is so good. All right, 
What's wrong with you? You were just hella thirsty. Well, I have a drink then. Oh, and we could invite over our director. Good morning. Oh, uh, good morning. Quickly hide your blood bag. Uh, I think that would be actually a really good idea, is to invite over co-stars and directors. And then, of course, to get changed. All right, so this is some dude who's just come over. Funny introduction. I don't think he's a director, I think he's a co-star because you invite over both co-stars and directors. He looks like he's gonna be a director, to be honest. If I had to predict, I reckon he's a director. Nope, he is also just another co-star. Yeah, so I thought it would be pretty cool to help boost morale and invite everyone over here and possibly even have the uh, age up our little, our little kid while everyone's over here chilling. Could you not touch my baby? No. No, no, no. Asked you to leave. You're behaving inappropriately. Please leave. How dare you come into someone else's house and destroy their kid doll's house? You can leave. You can leave. Oh, he better feel bad. I should really get going now. Yeah, you should. That was the rudest thing I've ever seen in my life. Heartfelt compliment. Oh, this is a good excuse for her to get out here and cheerfully introduce herself. Our baby's crying. Oh, having a baby is exhausting. Can you not come in and touch my baby? Why? Why are you doing that? Like, I just don't understand how that's appropriate in any way to come in and chat. And she's introducing herself before dealing with her baby. Oh, please deal with your baby. Why have you got to be like this? She's sharing new skill day spirit. I actually didn't want you to have a conversation with him in the room with your baby crying. And of course, she's coming in now. Oh, are you just coming in to talk? Could you look after the baby? Be pretty cruel to take the guest outside and talk to him out there and be like, um, Alexa, why aren't you coming out here? Brighten their day, because that is part of our thing. <sighs> okay. She's heading back off to dance, which we know she loves doing. Can you read your vampiric novel? No, because I'm not even sure where it's gone. It's probably because we're still researching about things online. So let's continue with perform five good deeds for acquaintances. Mm, for my job, I should also probably do the little bags. And the baby's cry again. Oh, I can't cope with this baby. Oh, the flea market's in town. We should go out to the flea market though. Yeah, let's just map it up and head out now. Here oh, we are at the flea market. I wonder if there's anything to actually buy. Oh my good. <sighs> Yeah, you can go home. Looks like we're spending another day with Camilla there. Uh, quickly go and tip this dude 10 bucks. You're heading home, right? Sweet, she may be dead before she gets home, but you know. I want to see if it's true. I'm already there. Eh, can't be bothered with you. Cannot be bothered. Uh, I think this flea market's a bust. I regret even coming out here. Let's just, let's just go home. Look, thirst ain't gonna kill you, so you can do that. So, we've got Camilla over here editing her YouTube video. Little Avery is fast asleep, but we do actually need to age Little Avery up. And of course, now we're just waiting for Alexa's big day. That's a wrap, guys, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. Stay toasty. Bye!